All right, so coming to us from our friend Asuka the Geek via Facebook and also Instagram. Yes, here in hand images of the new Beast Kingdom Batman Returns action figure. So, so far what I've heard from some people, this edition is a little bit sleeker looking than the Batman 89 figure that came out that had a few QC issues. Now, um, from like I said, again, so far I haven't heard any QC issues with this one. Um, it looks good. The cape looks amazing as well. Uh, face sculpt looks good too. Suit looks good. The emblem looks awesome. Like, wow, that looks great. Um, I would definitely, definitely looking forward to maybe reviewing this down the line. Check it out, guys. I think, uh, I think this one definitely looks, it has a little bit of more of a sleeker look than, um, the original Batman 89 one. I also like the bulk on the suit too. And the cape looks amazing as well. It looks like a, almost like a vinyl kind of material on it. Um, and the face sculpt of Keaton underneath the mask kind of reminds me of the accuracy of the NECA one, which I have, which is an 18-inch one. It just, they captured his chin there, his lips, just the eyes. It looks a lot like Keaton underneath the mask there. Would have been cool if you can uh, remove it and, you know, throw in a Keaton head sculpt or Bruce Wayne head sculpt. That'd be awesome. I'm not sure if you can actually remove it. Doesn't look like you, you can uh, remove the cowl, but if you do have the figure, drop a comment below. But that, that would be interesting if you can remove the cowl and then put a Michael Keaton head sculpt. But by the looks of it, I don't think you can. It's just too draped all together. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. You guys can check out more over on Facebook right now. Link in the description of the video. All right, take care.